The seven star Charizard Terror Raid is officially live with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and I'm gonna show you how to beat them. There seem to be quite a few methods that people are using to take down these Charizard raids, but I'm gonna focus on a solo build for you guys that wanna knock it out solo and farm things like the ability patches, maybe some XL candies and things of that nature because he does drop a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna show you a really good build that seems to be working for a lot of people. And this is one that a lot of people predicted and it is using a zoomer reel with a shell bell. So let me go ahead and show you how to build it. Now, in order to take on the seven star raid, you definitely need to have a level 100 Pokemon because Charizard himself is going to be level 100. So just keep that in mind. You need a level 100 zoomer reel. I know some people are using other Pokemon. This one seems to be the easiest for soloing. Don't quote me on that. This is the first day, but again, it's only three days. So I wanted to make sure that I at least got something out there to you guys. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Azumarill's stats. Now, there are a few things you need to pay attention to here. And you need to pay attention to the Terra type. You need a Fairy Terra type Azumarill, okay? So make sure you go out and catch you a Fairy type Azumarill. Another thing that you want is an Adamant Nature. Mine is Rash, but I fed it an Adamant Mint. You can get them at the Chansey Supply Store in the main city. So go get you an Adamant Mint. Feed it to Azumarill. Another thing you also want to do is make sure that you max its IVs. You need to hyper train it. You can do that by going to, let me pull it up real quick. You can do that by going and talking to this guy over here in Montenevera. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong, but whatever. It's right here in the middle of the snow place, right in the middle. You're just gonna go to this pokey stop and talk to the guy that's standing by the Obama snow and he will be able to hyper train your Pokemon using bottle caps. Now let's take a look at the Pokemon one more time because there are a couple more things that I wanna show you guys. Once you've uh, got your Pokemon to level 100, you've hyper trained your Pokemon and you got that adamant mint, okay? The next thing that we wanna do is we wanna EV train our Pokemon. And as you can see here, mine is max HP and max attack, okay? So this thing is gonna be a really hard hitter, a lot like Iron Hands. It's basically gonna be doing the same thing. So if you watch my video about Iron Hands, it's basically the same. So you're gonna max out the attack, max out the HP, and I have 218 attack, 404 HP, which is pretty daggum good. That's pretty daggum high. And another thing that you want your Azumarill to have is the ability Huge Power. It's gonna double the Pokemon's attack stat. As you can see, mine is 218. It's gonna double it. It's gonna hit like a truck. So, you know, this, is, this seems to be a pretty good method so far, right? Also, let's go ahead and take a look at the move sets. As you can see over here, we have, hold on, let me make sure I got it pulled up here. We have Belly Drum, Play Rough, and then I have Ice Beam on here. These are the main two that you wanna be paying attention to for the solo raids against this Charizard. Obviously, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit a Belly Drum, and that is going to max out your attack plus six on the first turn. However, be very careful because it is going to knock your HP in half, so you will be very vulnerable. Hopefully, you can get the Belly Drum off and then hit Play Rough. Now, when you hit Play Rough, this is a very powerful fairy type attack. So it's gonna do a lot of damage to Charizard, okay? As you can see, it has a power attack stat of 90. So this thing's gonna hit like a truck. And also another thing that we have on our Azumarill is a Shell Bell, okay? And let me see if I can pull it up here. I'm actually gonna take it from him. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. And I'm gonna pull it up in my bag because I want you guys to read the stats on this thing. It is really, really cool, okay? It's really, really cool. Let me see. Okay, there it is. An item to be held by a Pokemon. The holder restores a little HP to itself every time it inflicts damage with an attack. So it's something that I prefer to use on Azumarill because you definitely need to be healing yourself and a lot of the times the NPCs might not heal you. Now, one thing I do want to mention, a lot of you are probably scratching your head going, well, Azumarill does not learn a Belly Drum. How do, how do we teach it Belly Drum? Glad you asked. In order to teach your Azumarill Belly Drum, you need to get a Pokemon that already knows it. So something like a Hariyama or an Iron Hands. You need to get one of those in your party that knows Belly Drum, okay? The next thing you wanna do is you want to go to Azumarill. You wanna go ahead and check its summary and you wanna go over to its move set and you want to uh, change a move. You want it to forget a move, okay? You need to forget a move. So you need to have only three moves for this Pokemon. So do Play Rough, and two other moves, whatever you want to do. If you want to do a support Pokemon, you can throw some support stuff on there, but you definitely need to only have three. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to get a, let me see if I got this right here, a mirror herb. You need to get yourself a mirror herb to put on Azumarill. So what you're going to do is you're going to make Azumarill hold the mirror herb. Then you're going to take all of your Pokemon out of your party. 
And so you're only gonna have Iron Hands and Azumarill. The Maraidon doesn't seem to affect it. I kind of glitched this one in here for some duping and stuff, and I don't want to get rid of it yet because the new patch uh, patched it. So I'm trying to keep them in here as long as possible. But anyways, you're gonna take Azumarill, Iron Hands. Azumarill only knows three moves, and you're going to open up a Picnic, and you're just gonna wait about 30 seconds. That's basically it. And then you close the picnic and Azumarill should know Belly Drum, okay? If not, just re redo it. And that's how you get your Azumarill Belly Drum. All right, so now let's go ahead and take on our seven star Charizard raid. And if you didn't know, this is what the Terror Raid Den looks like. Looks pretty crazy. Looks like a, like a rainbow effect looking little tornado going around the Terror Raid. Also, if you wanna know what it looks like on the map, it looks just like a six star raid den. Uh, let me go ahead and pull it up for you guys. Looks extremely similar. You're just gonna see that little shimmer with the dragon on it. Also, you do have some more event Pokemons and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, scattered around the map. Yep, see there. Yeah, let's go ahead and take them on. Okay, so this is my second attempt. I actually ran out of moves on play rough on my last one and ended up dying when he was like a sliver of health. So just go ahead and use some PP ups and get your uh, play rough up as much as you can. I got mine all the way to 16, which seems to be the max. So let's go ahead and start out this fight here and I'm gonna use uh, Belly Drum. Hopefully this doesn't chunk me too much. Is it gonna let me use Belly Drum? Okay, so I'm, I'm able to use Belly Drum, but I'm super weak. Let's hope that I can attack first here. Okay, so our first attempt at starting to set up was not successful. I'm gonna go ahead and try again. Hopefully he'll miss a move or something on me. Okay, so hit me with Fire Blast. This should help us a lot more. If he hits me with two Fire Blasts, I'll be fine. Okay, so I got my Belly Drum off on my second attempt. Hopefully, he won't attack me again, because as long as I can hit this play rough, I should be fine. Okay, so he used Hurricane again. So he's just gonna knock me out again. Okay, I survived, I survived. Perfect, oh man, look at the chunk damage on that. Does so much damage. And I got a lot of health back. I got a lot of health. So this is a lot like Iron Hands. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, go watch it. This is very, very similar, and honestly, I love it. So, okay, so he is now, he's tortellinialized, uh, terratalized, terraform, wherever you want to call it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit him with another play rough here. Hopefully I can survive. Okay, Azumarill avoided the attack. This is perfect, perfect setup. Okay, even with me getting knocked out once at the beginning, we're still ahead of the timer. So hopefully everything's gonna go well for us. Okay, so we're getting our form. We got 13 moves left. This is a lot better than what was happened to me last time. So let's hope that this is going to work. Okay, he hit me with Hurricane and he confused me. This is not looking good. This is not going good at all, to be honest with you. Come on, come on, don't hurt yourself. Okay, play rough. There we go, give me some health back. I need the health. Okay, I chunked it for a good bit. Hopefully that gives me enough health left, let's see. That does not give me a lot of health left. Oh no, I'm, I'm in a rough spot. I am in a rough spot not, by not being able to pull it off the first time, I think. I feel like I'd be in a lot better shape. Okay, I avoided the attack. This is good. Still ahead of the timer. As long as he can stay uh, attacking, we should be okay. Come on, chunk that shield. Chunk the shield. Okay, one more play rough and we'll be in the clear. One more, we'll be in the clear. We'll be out of the, uh, the danger zone, I think at least. Hopefully we can check that confusion. I snapped out of my confusion. Okay, this is going great. This is going great. Okay. Big chunk damage, big chunk damage. I just hope he doesn't revive himself like he has been for a lot of other people. I think people were killing him too fast, and I think that may have been why he was dying, but we'll see. We'll, we'll definitely see here, because that's what happened to me last time. I knocked him out twice in my last fight. Okay, Azumarill is doing perfect here, just dodging everything. Okay. Come on. Okay, one more. One more, come on. Okay, he's gonna hit me with a fire blast. I should survive that. No, he one-shot me. No. Wow, he one-shot me with a fire blast. It's because of this sunny day, I bet. Okay, this is we're we're this is not good. This is not good at all. Let's hope that we can I, we need to pull out one more move. We need to pull off one more move here. Okay, if I can pull this one move off, I'm gonna be okay. Use a fire blast, don't one-shot me. Okay, he didn't one-shot me. He did less damage that time. So strange. Okay, I might... Okay, I'm gonna have to pull off one more. Maybe one of my uh, cohorts... Actually, everybody is knocked except for me. Okay, this is... Okay, so I broke... Oh, no. Is he about to have more health? He has more health! No! Okay, I chunked him. I chunked him. Okay. Yeah, the health bar is definitely glitched. 
That's crazy. How much is he gonna use? He hit me with Inferno. Okay, not very effective. Okay, so we're fine. Okay, he burned me. Shouldn't I, I should be able to knock him out with this next uh, next play rough, but we'll see. Come on, let me go first. Let me go first. No, no, no! Oh, he knocked me out for a second time. I don't know if I'll be able to pull this off. If I can hit him one more time, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time though. Let's see. It's gonna chunk a lot off the clock. Okay, I might have enough for one more. I might have enough for one more attack here, but we're gonna have to make it quick. Oh man, this is rough. Okay. Super close, super close. He gave, did he get more health? I don't know. I feel like his health keeps going up like a little by little. Okay, come on. Come on, dodge the attack. Dodge the attack, Azumarill, you got this. Okay, hit him. Perfect, okay, I knocked him out. Is he gonna get more health? Or is that, where am I done? He came, no shot, he got more health. Oh, no, we got him, we got him. Second attempt, solo with a Zoomeril, play rough, and a shell bell. Oh, you love to see it. Give me that luxury ball, where's that at? Where's that at, where's that at? Okay, we're gonna catch him in a luxury ball. We got him on our second attempt. The first attempt was a fluke because I ran out of play roughs. And look at that. This is the rewards that we get for him. We have an ability capsule, some large and extra large candies. We have calcium. We have a uh, dragon char uh, terror shards. We have a TM-157, an ability patch, which is really nice. So if you want to farm ability patches, this is another way. Bottle caps, rare candy, and some star pieces. So that is perfect. And there he is. Look at him in our party. He's all happy. Level 100, fire flying type with a dragon terror type. His movesets are dragon pulse, fire blast, hurricane, and focus blast. This is such a cool Pokemon. And another weird thing is you can't use him in raids and you cannot trade him. So just keep that in mind. But this thing is cool. Super, super awesome. And honestly, that was a lot easier than I thought. And there you guys have it. That's how you can take down seven star Charizard in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet solo. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for more future videos. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, great night. And until next time, peace out.